Barely two years in Chicago police uniforms and a pair of young officers knew exactly what to do. A lady waved us down and said there was someone shot in her backyard. Uh, we rerouted to the backyard and across the street we saw a young man waving his hand saying that he was shot. It took only a glance to see the bleeding victim near 82nd and South Cole Monday night was only a boy, just 13 years old. There were no seconds to spare. This happens every day in every city. Happened in D.C. the other day. Little boy got shot. Now, I want you to understand this. That this little boy has been indoctrinated with police F-12 racist police. Every police is racist. The police hate black people. Because you got to understand, these kids coming up in this, they don't have the they don't have a before this. Like, what? Well, how was it? Well, he's, he was five when Trayvon got killed? Four? He's grown up in a world where you hate the police. And you're told that the police was started as the, the slave catchers. <laughs> and the police just be locking up black people for no reason. And most of the black people in jail is innocent. <laughs> All the cops is crooked. And he can't do it because he a little homie from the streets of Chicago. That's why somebody shot him. Because he out there in that world. And he can't be thank the cops because he got to go back out there when he heal up. A pair of young officers knew exactly what to do. A lady waved us down and said there was someone shot in her backyard. Uh, we rerouted to the backyard and across the street we saw a young man waving his hand saying that he was shot. It took only a glance to see the bleeding victim near 82nd and South Cole Monday night was only a boy, just 13 years old. There were no seconds to spare. Officer Ward wasted no time. I told her to grab his legs that we were going to have to uh, transport him ourselves. From there, a police escort led their squad car speeding through south side streets, lights and sirens blaring. Officer Rhonda Ward behind the wheel, racing to get to Comer Children's Hospital. He was in and out of consciousness, so we we're trying to keep him alive and keep him up. He trusted us. No, we wanted him to, and we made it. We got there. Within seconds of pulling up, doctors greeted the officers and raced the 13-year-old Swayze Rankin into surgery. His mother only heard of how he got there after the fact. Those officers was quick thinking, and they were not going to wait for that EMS, and they got him right on time. So I'm highly grateful for you guys. Salute, Mom. Salute to you. I, you guys don't understand how hard this is for black people. You have to be super, super, duper, duper woke. And you gotta, you gotta be the tip of the woke spear. Only nine percent of Chicago murders get solved every year. Nine percent. There's very little cooperation with police. For this woman to get up here. And thank the police. And I know you're like, but they saved her son. She that don't mean nothing. And this happens all the time. You guys noticed I've been showing you guys this. Showed you this in a video a couple weeks ago. This, but this happens every day, like all day long, every day. There's 17,985 police departments in this country Chicago's just one of them and every day police are saving black people because black people are the ones that are being shot in the streets the black death toll which is incalculable right now as of tw since 2020 we make up 80% of the murder victims in this country. It used to be 50 before, it was, no, it was 52 before 2020. Now it's 80. Imagine what that number would be if cops like, cops didn't 
like these two cops right here didn't perform the miracles they perform every day. That was a miracle they performed. Saving these young boys and these black women who are on the streets, bleeding out. When you hear of a story like you hear in Miami, 25 shot, two dead. You notice we hear that a lot in black America? Six shot, one dead. Eight shot, two dead. 12 shot, th three dead. It's because of stuff like this. It's because of the cops like this and also the EMTs too. But the cops are usually on the scene before the EMTs when it's gunshots. I salute this mother because I know this was hard for her. Because there's so much pressure to be anti-police. There's so much pressure to be like, man, the police do us hunting us, man. We ain't nobody doing nothing, even though her son got shot. Ain't nobody doing They always just mess with us for no reason. Even though the place is called Chirac. Ain't no they just mess with us for no reason. I salute her for for, for finding in herself to push that urge down and just salute these cops. His mother only heard of how he got there after the fact. Those officers was quick thinking and they were not going to wait for that EMS and they got him right on time. So I'm highly grateful for you guys. Officers Givens and Ward's fast action may well have saved that teenager's life. It was just heartwarming for me that I could actually save a life. You know, Because that's what I got on this job to do. You heard her say she got on the force because she wanted to save lives 97.3 percent of black people believe that cops got every cop is on the force because they were bullied in high school trust me i've been around man i've been i'm a nigga they was bullied in high school they think every person on the force was bullied in high school and that's the reason they want to be a cop They can't fathom that people want to run towards gunfire. And put their lives on the line every day to, to show up for people. They think that it's, it's just the, the white ones. Is, they think the white ones are only there because they want to be able to kill black people. Even though only... 18% of all officer-involved shootings involve a white cop and a black suspect. 18%. The rest involve Hispanic cops, Asian suspect, Asian cop, Latino suspect, Arab cop, white suspect, black cop, black suspect. It's just only 18% of all officer-involved shootings involve a white cop and a black suspect. And the average nigga you gonna meet on the street gonna say that every white cop joins the force so they can go kill a nigga. <laughs> and only like less than 1% of all cops ever fire their weapon during the entire career. So this is the type of community these people uh, come from. I just wanted to let you guys know that. So for these people to think this cop is big, man. And for this, I'm glad these cops are getting this recognition. Heartwarming for me that I could actually save a life, you know, because that's what I got on this job to do. These officers said they did what any Chicago police officer would have done in that situation. And in fact, just last week, another Chicago police officer raced seven-year-old Jaslyn Adams to the hospital in the back of his squad car after she'd been shot at a Westside McDonald's.